withdrawal of U.S. forces in Afghanistan has taken years, and it turns out that a Buffalo area Marine will be among the last to leave an outpost in the heart of a dangerous province named Nimbras. But as we hear from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley, he'll soon have a new and very important mission, which he can hardly wait to begin. For nine months, Sergeant Jesse Barton of Eden has been stationed at Forward Operating Base Del Aram, near a hamlet surrounded by miles of desert, a day's drive from the nearest city, and once described in a Washington Post article as the end of the earth. The Marines have been in this area of Nimroz province, historically known for drugs and weapons smuggling, as well as foreign militants, for more than a decade. Everywhere is a dangerous place here, so you just always got to be mindful, you know, where you are and what you're doing. What Barton's unit has been doing is advising the Afghan military and police. Help them with their, you know, their daily operations and just um, trying to make them a little bit better in what they do. For when the Marines soon leave this, the last coalition force base in the province. Do you think, uh, uh, Jesse, that years from now you'll look back on the fact that you were among the last and... and and think of that as a source of pride, really, no matter where your career takes you? That's what our biggest hope is, you know, maybe years from now we, you know, reading the paper that, hey, Delaram's succeeding, or, you know, that, that province in general is succeeding. So as long as it, that's the case, then, yeah, absolutely, I feel about that. It's why he enlisted shortly after getting out of high school, inspired by his grandfather, a World War II Marine, who he thinks of often. Absolutely, uh, every day. Um, lost him a couple years ago, so... You know, just still trying to, you know, do him proud as best as I can. And, of course, he thinks about his wife, who he has not held since he deployed in August. It's going to be a great homecoming. Probably the best so far. Jesse, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to invite another reporter in to ask a couple questions. Is that okay with you? That's fine. Unbeknownst to him, waiting in the wings was someone we should explain he could only hear but not see through this satellite hookup provided by the Marines. Okay, well, why don't, why don't you come over here, and uh, what, is your, um, what is your question for Sergeant Barton? Are you ready to come home? Absolutely, absolutely. And are you ready to see him home? I sure am. Is that Lex? Yes, it is. I, I see you, you're working with the news station now. Yeah, I guess so. I got a new job. I got a promotion. And in just over a month, they'll both have new jobs as first-time parents. She is eight months along. It is a girl. I don't know what to expect. I really don't. It, it's, it's a new chapter. It's a new journey. So, yeah, I, I have no idea what to expect. Well, I'm sure she's going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, most likely. He's expected home just in time after having spent the entirety of the pregnancy apart. It's tough, but, I mean, every Marine's got, you know, family back home. So you just got to remember that, you know, your mission comes first, and you get, you got you to gotta keep your clear head because as soon as your head gets a little bit cloudy, you know, anything could happen out here. He's got to do his job. I mean, we knew this going into when we were trying to get pregnant and that it was going to be a hard road ahead, but at least he'll be home for the best part of all. It's incredible the commitment that these men and women have that are in our military. That's a long time to be away. I know, and these military wives who are home, a lot of them raising wow. the children themselves mm -hmm. and just live daily with that fear that anything could happen over there. Yeah, we thank them all, one and all. All right, well, Kevin is still enjoying a little time off. Yes, and meanwhile, we have mom-to-be Jennifer Sinone <laughs> yes. is with us, but she's got good news, more sunshine, right, Jen? Yeah, and temperatures will be increasing, too.